We're going to do two short videos, one with uh, Mr. Dentisti and the other with Frank in just a couple of moments. But earlier, John Clemens, produce manager, joined us uh, on the Coons Cooking Hour every Sunday, 8 until 9. We talked today about summer produce. You know, now that the summer solstice has come and gone, first full official day of summer, the 21st, we are into the harvest. So what do you do as you make that transition as far as things in your garden? There's a lot of things you can do. And some of the things that came up on the program today were such items as... Southern peaches, 99 cents a pound, but also Arkansas tomatoes, $1.49 a pound, available at Coons Markets. The significance of Arkansas tomatoes, Joe? Well, it's, um, uh, you're starting to get toward homegrown. They have the flavor, they have the color of uh, uh, of the Pennsylvania tomatoes it's starting to come, that, uh, it's getting closer to home. But they have, uh, they're a good replacement for homegrown tomatoes till, till we can get the local product. Blackberries or one pound red ripe strawberries, two for five dollars. That's incredible. And also sweet northwestern cherries, two ninety nine a pound. But some of the things that Joe and I like to talk about is business. And right now, Heffern Phillips and your money and you is on Jamie Meredith, Ray Ballantyne, Mary Ann Siebert. All of these tariffs, especially when it comes to China and agriculture, what about these tariffs and how it could affect some of the produce that they like to enjoy in that part of the world that'll be coming from the United States? So this is a news we need to follow, Joe. No, no, because they could be excluded. We don't know that. But the, I know, like cherries, we, we export a lot of cherries to, to Japan from the, the, the northwest, from Washington State, Oregon, and in that area. And uh, are those going to be available here in the United States where uh, if, if Japan puts a tariff on them? Actually, if Japan puts a tariff on them, they're kind of kiting off their nose to spite their face because uh, it, it, it's, it's a product that they really want in Japan. Mm -hmm. it's that, the same way with uh, pork. We export a lot of pork to Japan and China too that um, uh, that they need and they want. So if you want to get that in, a, in the right price in your consumer's hands mm -hmm. in those countries, do you really want to put a tariff on it? So we may be okay. We may be fine. We're going to talk to Frankie about pork in Japan and he really brought up some good points on the program. So that's coming up next day with us. Good morning.